Thanks, uh, Mike and the team for having me. My name is Brian Spears. I'm with Chiron Hagel. Um, you may be familiar with Chiron. It's been around for a number of years, you know, in terms of character generation. Uh, recently merged with Hagel, who's been around since 1969. Tonight, I'm here to talk about Shout, which is our social uh, media editor from Chiron. It's an application we came up with a couple years ago in a response to a number, <coughs> excuse me, to a number of customers that wanted to do social media integration into the broadcast. So you can see up here, we support a number of uh, uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, uh, et cetera. We've got you know, hundreds of these applications out there. I figured since we were short uh, for time tonight um, that I'd actually uh, play a video which actually goes through Shout. Kind of gives you just a quick overview. Chiron Shout just got a whole lot louder. In version one, we gave you an easy way to turn Twitter feeds into on-air graphics. We have now expanded the data sources to Twitter lists, Facebook accounts and Facebook pages, RSS feeds and mass relevance streams. Here's a quick look at the power of Shout. Start a new list and give it a name. When you go to add new accounts you will now see six data sources to choose from and you can actually combine the different sources in each list. I have already started a few, but this is how easy it is to add another one. Click Add, select Twitter from the list, and give it a username. I'll type in Olympics so we can see what people are tweeting about the Olympics. You can also add some search terms if you wish. Logos can be added to the scene to show which data source is being displayed. Simply click and navigate to select a different logo. GPIs can also be set for load, play and stop. To change the look of the text simply adjust the color, font and size in the appearance preferences. And finally we have added support for different languages. Pick a new language and when Shout is launched again the menus will be in that language. You can adjust how many seconds before downloading new posts or how many statuses you want to show in the Facebook accounts. If you want your data to go straight to air without previewing, click on the direct to air. You may want to use this if you are using mass relevance or your own website for RSS feeds. The filtering would already be done, so the feed could go directly to the output part of the user interface. On the input wizard, you can now select which data source you want to load the messages from. Click as many as you want. On the output wizard, you can select whether you want to view these in a crawl or a page. Then add some more columns such as the image to view the avatar and the logo to show the Twitter, Facebook or RSS logo. If you hover your cursor over the blue question mark, you can see all the other columns you can add. The names here must match up with the graphic and text template names in channel box or the lyric template. On the playback wizard, you select whether you are controlling a channel box or a lyric device. Give it the IP address if controlling the device over a network, the scene name, and the path where the message is located. Click connect and you are now ready to start displaying the data on the output. Another great added benefit is the preview before take option. When this is checked and the advanced pages manually is selected, the page will appear in Lyric with the content updated. Pressing the space bar will advance the page to the output and update the next one in preview. For customers who have a mass relevance account, you create your stream of tweets with the filters you want. Then you can easily add those streams to Shout and have Shout play them to air. Shout provides a simple way of turning your mass relevance data streams into on-air graphics. This data stream example is using a full frame scene in Lyric, but setting it to a lower third display is easy to do by selecting a different template in the playout preferences. Or control the lower third scene of your channel box and the full page from Lyric, both from the same user interface. So let your viewers tell their stories on your channel. It is a great way to build bigger audiences. Chiron Shout just got a whole lot louder with version 2 now available. It is the tool that turns tweets, Facebook, RSS feeds, Thanks, and his mass relevance.
Uh, so, you know, basically showing the, uh, the interface there, being able to curate uh, via hashtag or sort uh, search terms into, uh, you know, your relevant information and then be able to display it. You know, just some examples whether, you know, once you've got that, that tweet in a playout uh, list and you've tied it to a message on your CG, you're playing it as a lower third, full screen, displaying it, you know, basically how the template is made, whether it's in a, a crawl or Instagram photos into similar like a Polaroid. Uh, some examples we have down from um, down in Mexico where we've done uh, social integration uh, as well as this one. I think this was I think Switzerland, but uh, you know a number of different uh, you know sort of looks and feels. So again, um, here where you have on the left side all the curation, and on the other side you have a playlist. And as you run through on the on the playlist, the tweets go to air. So I'm at the back too, so if you've got questions, you want to look at the software, we can go through it. Thank you. And, and, and Brian was understated. The, from our experience right now, the Chiron shout and lyric is by far the, the best and most robust integration we've presently experienced with the TriCaster, period, end of story. It, it gives you a ton and, and the key things that our clients are using it for is, is integrating quickly onto their broadcast and, and pulling all of the graphic generation side from the titling from the TriCaster onto the Chiron Lyric and feeding it via IP into the, into the TriCaster port and broadcasting it. And they're using it for advertising it and they're driving a lot of um, engagement specifically in the radio field. And it, it, it's huge, so it's highly understated here. But we've used the um, shout on a couple events here that we've streamed out and you know, curated tweet, tweet, Facebook, et cetera, and integrate you know, remote people within the conversation. It's very powerful, and it works, and it's relatively seamless, and we have people using it integrated with the TriCaster every single day.